David Dow, CBS News, Pasadena. NASA says that the weather is turning around at Cape Canaveral, and it now appears that the flight of the space shuttle Challenger with the first space teacher on board won't be tardy after all. Bruce Hall reports. Weather conditions are improving slightly, and NASA officials now believe they will be able to launch tomorrow and avoid those embarrassing weather delays that plagued the last flight of the shuttle. Right now, things look good, and I just hope the weather outside uh, continues to cooperate with us. Meteorologists are releasing weather balloons regularly, checking the upper atmosphere. Please. Rains are expected during the night, but the forecast calls for clearing in the morning. There is a chance of some fog, but it should burn off before the beginning of the window. The first teacher in space, Krista McAuliffe, and her six crewmates spent most of the day reviewing flight plans. McAuliffe's parents say the 37-year-old New Hampshire school teacher remained calm, but they admitted they were not. I'm starting to get a little knot in my stomach right now. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be later. We're getting a little bit of trepidation as we're getting closer and closer. But as for their daughter... She's just anxious to go. Yeah. This will be the first launch from the newly refurbished Pad 39B since a joint U.S.-Russian space probe 10 years ago. NASA hopes the second launch pad will keep periodic weather and technical delays from disrupting the space agency's tight, ambitious flight schedule. Bruce Hall, CBS News, Kennedy Space Center. At least eight people...